Jack Wittenberg. Before we get into this analysis, let's take a look at Coach Wittenberg's signature look. Coach Wittenberg was a heavy set man with curly brown hair, an irregularly shaped nose, and a protruding jaw. He wore a red sweater with a white collared shirt underneath, blue shorts with a yellow stripe down the sides, and black and white shoes. Jack Wittenberg was a multi sport coach in Hillwood. He coached basketball, bowling, and synchronized swimming. He was married to a woman named Tish, and together they had one child a boy named Tucker. In the debut appearance of Jack Wittenberg in the episode Benchwarmer, we get a look into this strained father-son relationship. Jack Wittenberg coaches the basketball team at the YMAA in Hillwood. His son Tucker plays on his team along with Arnold and his friends. He took his job very seriously and was strict on the kids following the rules. The good thing is, there was only one rule to follow. Now, for all intents and purposes, our strategy will consist thusly, get the ball to Tucker. Coach Wittenberg was so focused on making his son the star of the basketball team that he neglected everyone else. As expected, this left the team disappointed. I wish we could win that play we worked out in the park. This really bites. Coach Wittenberg was so strict about passing the ball to Tucker that it superseded the success of the team. Once, Tucker wasn't opened, so Arnold passed the ball to Gerald. Gerald scored and everyone cheered, except Coach Wittenberg. Coach Wittenberg desperately wanted his team to win, but only using his plan. His stubbornness led to harsh criticism of his son when he didn't meet his expectations. You don't miss free throws with the game on the line! Coach Wittenberg's constant pressure on Tucker caused him to become so nervous that it poorly impacted his performance on the court. But once Arnold showed his coach the underutilized talent of his team, he began to change his ways. Coach Wittenberg didn't enjoy basketball for the fun of it, it was all about winning. Aside from basketball, Coach Wittenberg also took the fun out of bowling. Drop and give me 10, Missy. <laughs> now! All right, Red, you're up. Coach Wittenberg's harshness had him fired from multiple coaching jobs, including his position as a basketball coach. I was too harsh, too severe, too mean, too everything except all the things outside of that which they designated me! He didn't know how to loosen up and just enjoy life. Instead, he was overly dramatic. Knock it off! One pin is nothing to cheer about! One pin is pathetic! You're all pathetic! Now drop and give me ten! On edge in the face of uncertainty, Oh, the kids are getting discouraged. Maybe you could try a new approach. Yeah. And insecure. He loved being a coach, but thought winning was the only way to prove his worth. We have to win, and we will win. It's the only way I can prove I'm a good coach. With Arnold's help, Coach Wittenberg learned how this wasn't the case at all. To be a good coach, all he needed to do was pay attention to each individual player and help them improve in a way that would work for them. For Coach Wittenberg, losing was just not an option. To admit defeat was to admit that he wasn't good enough and that someone else was better than him. If there was one person Coach Wittenberg hated losing to more than anyone else, it was his wife. Coach Wittenberg even manipulated the local kids into joining a synchronized swim team just to beat her. And he did this all without knowing anything about synchronized swimming. Good! Now, everybody, backstroke! And try not to run into each other! But with the help of Arnold... You can't give up. You've got to find your sensitive side and inspire the team. They were actually able to win. Coach Wittenberg and Tisha's relationship was a rocky one. After his hot-headedness left him without a job, Tish kicked him out of the house. Tish was a competitive coach just like Coach Wittenberg. When the two weren't clashing though, they did have some positive moments. The couple even decided to get remarried. In the episode Best Man, Coach Wittenberg chooses Arnold to be his best man. Me? That's right, Arnie. But why me? Well, a guy's best man is supposed to be his best friend, right? When I made a list of all my friends, I came to one conclusion. What's that? I don't have any. 
arranged, but their wedding almost didn't happen. Coach Wittenberg's love for winning almost destroyed his marriage. But Tish is the most important, right? No, Arnie. Winning is most important. Come on, you know that. But Tish is a close second, and then air hockey. I mean, air hockey's third, or eh, maybe second. No, Tish is second. Well, it's close. He had to make a decision. Which was more important, winning or his wife? It was clear that Coach Wittenberg was struggling with low emotional intelligence. I can't be emotional and sensitive and all that jazz. I don't have a sensitive bone in my said body. He was completely oblivious to the emotional impact he was having on his team because he focused solely on what he wanted. Winning would reaffirm his belief that he was indeed a competent sports coach. He couldn't restrain the flood of emotions he was used to suppressing. As a result, when confronted with his inadequacy, he wallowed in self-pity. He wasn't used to dealing with his emotions, so instead of using how he felt to inform his next move, he was left immobilized. His lack of understanding of how others felt resulted in him having no friends and a strained relationship with his wife. Coach Wittenberg's lack of emotional intelligence also meant when something didn't go his way, he was quick to blame others. Stupid, inadequate, pale, constantly getting in my way, incessantly. For example, he concludes his son wasn't chosen as the basketball league's MVP because of the voting. Instead of a more logical conclusion, he simply wasn't the best. He also callously offered harsh criticism to others. Crying out loud, you can't miss those big free throws, Tucker! Suck it up, son! I wonder why Coach Wittenberg was so difficult to deal with. He reminds me of another character in Hey Arnold, Big Bob Pataki. And all you gotta do is win. You hear me? Win. Win. Win! Maybe Coach Wittenberg's parents or others around him always pressured him to win. Or perhaps he was simply very ambitious and competitive by nature. Some could argue Coach Wittenberg was a product of toxic masculinity. This concept pressures men to behave according to traditional gender roles in a way that is harmful to themselves, women, and society as a whole. It encourages men to act aggressively, strive for achieving power and status in order to gain respect. The important thing is to win! Win! Winning is everything, Arnie! And stigmatizes the expression of certain emotions while elevating others, like anger. The result is men who don't know how to handle the emotions of themselves and those around them in a healthy, constructive manner. My universe came crashing down at the seams. Having lost the position to which I had previously beholden, I needed some emotional relief. Every low point in Coach Wittenberg's life, his willingness to listen and learn was what always turned everything around. He listened to Arnold, a nine-year-old boy who was wise beyond his years. Arnold taught him two important lessons. Number one, how to see situations from another person's perspective. And number two, how to get back in touch with his emotions. And said, Wayne, come back, Wayne. I love that movie. Through Arnold, Coach Wittenberg grew to become a better version of himself. He became a better coach, father, and husband. Coach Wittenberg taught us how self-improvement is a lifelong journey. It's not important whether you win or lose. What's important is that you learn from your losses. And you never know, maybe your losses could one day lead to your greatest wins. So with that, we are now at the end of my Hey Arnold character analysis video of Coach Wittenberg! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! You guys are the greatest. What do you think of Coach Wittenberg? What was your favorite Coach Wittenberg moment? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Dial Up Digest. Until next time, my friends, dialing out.